Hello, in this video I will show you how to use my latest plugin, Coinimp Virtual Crypto Farm plugin for WordPress. So to get started, you click Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, Choose File, navigate the zip file you downloaded, click Install Now. After the quick installation, activate the plugin. Now go to Plugin Settings. Here we will see that the plugin requires a coin in public key. Click here to get one. <coughs> if you are not registered on the site, please register and log into your account. Afterwards, you can create a new site. Click save. And Coinimp will uh, lead you to this dashboard. Here will be listed your site. To get the public key, key here, you will see that this is the your public key. Copy it and paste it in the plugin settings as it is. Now you can save settings and the plugin is ready to mine for you. This is how the plugin looks, the pop-up, this is the first pop-up version, let's see my process processor uses now, you can see that my processor is pretty high right now, this is because of my screen recording software, so if we go to processes you can see that my screen recording software takes quite a bit of processor, but let's start mining right now. As you can see, there is an optic in processor usage. If we increase number of threads, the processor increases even more and reaches 100%. So, <coughs> this is the basics of the plugin. The user can start and stop mining and can hide the pop up. The pop-up is fully customizable, so you can change its appearance, its text, its buttons, so practically everything. Also, there are some advanced options in the plugin. You can automatically start mining on page load. Let's see how this looks. If I refresh my page right now, mining automatically starts for the user. Okay. You can force the uh, miner to automatically start also in WordPress admin. You can detect battery and stop mining when device on battery. This is a pretty cool feature. So let me show you this one. <coughs> Let's increase the number of threads for it to be more visible. Okay, so now I will remove the power from my laptop and I will go on battery notice that the mining stopped I will plug in the battery mining started again automatically remove the battery plug in the battery again so this feature is very useful because mining drains uh, large amount of battery each second so you should disable it for users that are on battery only and not AC power also the plugin allows to disable mining of mobile devices you can copy coin in javascript locally this will be useful if uh, uh, anti-malware are detecting uh, the mining the javascript and are fragging it a force positively as malware this is because some users don't give notifications to users that they are mining using their cpu power this is why some <coughs> anti-malware software are flagging uh, javascript that uh, mines monero as malware. You can uh, prevent this if you copy it locally to your host. You can automatically adjust thread count to maximize mining power for users. 
you can set a default thread count for desktop and mobile default throttle for desktop and mobile these numbers are the, these that appear here when the page loads course legacy minor this is a legacy feature i don't recommend checking this run minor only for logged in users or only for not logged in users you can show notification or hide notification i don't recommend to hide the notification because you can be categorized as malware as a result so here you can change the way the pop-up notifies the user let's say i want to uh, notify users round panel bottom left let's see how it looks now okay i can change some advanced positioning site settings if you know css this will be very easy to for you to change if no then you have these options also you can change the text of the pop-up <coughs> notice that you have short codes here these will be replaced automatically by these input fields these automatically refreshable numbers or these buttons so all shortcuts that you have is hashes per second this is this number that automatically changed it changes hashes total hashes accepted throttle input threads input these are these two input boxes in which the user can change the throttle and threads number the close button the more info button and the start stop button the close button this this closes the pop-up the more info button and the start stop button you can change the text for the hide button the text for more info button and the link where the more info button leads you can set the pop-up to fade background you can auto hide the pop-up after a delay you can disable pop-up for logged in users you can set cookie lifetime uh, this feature i'll explain this in a minute because it is tied to something down here uh, pop-up the short code refresh interval in milliseconds so this will tell the pop the plugin how often it should refresh these numbers so if you set this to low then this will be refreshed very often but this also takes cpu power from the visitor so be aware that if you set this to too low then it might be an issue you can change the animation style how the pop-up should disappear slide fade <coughs> or no animation text padding solid color transparent image in the background pop-up color you can change the color text color closing link color border rounded border corners uh, show buttons in place of links button color border color pop-up font size font type bold italic underline panel sticks to its initial position this is a nice feature you can test it out custom css and show only once per visitor if you check this only once per visitor the pop-up will appear only once per visitor and now the cookie lifetime comes to play if you check the only once per visitor checkbox the pop-up will appear to the same visitor after this amount of minutes so <coughs> if you uncheck this then the pop-up will appear on each visit the visitor takes if you check it only once at first visit and then after this amount of minutes again also you can set uh, use this short code this short code will generate a link that if clicked it will show the pop-up again even if the this amount of minutes did not pass for the user also for this short code to work you have to check this checkbox so let's save the settings and let's see how our pop-up looks right now okay now let's center it 
And this is how it looks centered. Okay. Also, you can put an image in the background of the pop-up. So, or you can make it transparent. You have many, many options to play with. There are quite a lot of options here in this plugin. So, this is all on this screen. We have also an activity and logging section. Here will be listed each error or anything else that the plugin encounters during its run. This is an activity log, log and you can restore the full settings of the plugin here. So this is all. Until next time, I hope you will enjoy this plugin. Bye bye.